every month, Android devices get another Google Play system update that is not actually tied to the traditional firmware updates that you may be used to. These are sent to devices via application updates and this special settings app menu where you initiate the update by tapping on this little button down here. Google has just recently published its change log for this update during the month of April 2025. And today I can show you everything that will be added to your Android smartphone or tablet after these updates have been installed. First up, we have an update to the Google Play Services application, which is a pre-installed system app that most people have on their Android device. When you have updated to version 25.14, recipients of quick share transfers will get a preview of the content before they accept anything. They've also fixed some device connection related services as well, which should help to improve the overall user experience. This new version of the Google Play Services app also updates the on-device location history settings page so that it supports Google Material expressive components. And a big new feature coming with this version brings the inactivity reboot feature that was launched on iOS 18 last year. As of right now, it's expected to be enabled by default for everyone who installs this update, and the new feature will automatically restart your smartphone or tablet when Android notices that it has been locked for three consecutive days. This actually makes Android much more secure since once the phone has been rebooted, it is returned to a before first unlock state, aka BFU where your personal data is encrypted and much harder to access. This added security is actually why you cannot unlock your phone with your fingerprint after it has been restarted. This new update also adds a feature called Location Time Zone Provider, aka LTZP, which can determine which time zone your device is in based on its location. Android's usage and diagnostics page now has a new updated user interface once you have installed this update. And Google has made it easier to set up your new device and transfer your data from an old one. There have been some updates to Android's system management services, which should help to improve its overall stability. And now Android will allow application developers to support digital wallet and payments that are related to their own application. A week prior, we noticed this app had made some changes to the system management services in an attempt to improve the battery life and device connectivity. They even included a way to add nicknames to your passes that you have available in Google Wallet. Lastly, this update will include some bug fixes for your phone's utilities related services. As we move on to updates to the Google Play Store application, we can see that a new feature has been added which will allow you to opt in to promotional notifications directly from the notifications and offers page. There was also an update to the app last week that includes an ask a question feature to help you learn more about what you're currently browsing. Both Android system intelligence and private compute services were updated to v.23 over the last few weeks with both apps adding a new logging feature for adaptive sound and some code optimizations for smart dictation. We still have a couple of weeks left in the month, so it's possible that Google will push out some more new changes to the community. It can take a few weeks for the company to complete this rollout though, so be sure to keep checking for that new Google Play system update 
through the settings application, like I showed you earlier. You can even perform a simple search for Google Play system update directly within the settings application, rather than hunting things down through its menus. Now, if you could, please remember to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel as well for more Android content like this.